Today I'll be introducing a little bit about sharpening uh, and caring for grafting knives. In, uh, in grafting, grafting requires a special type of knife, one that is beveled only or on one side. Beveled means that's a bladed side. And they come in two different, a uh, couple different types. Uh, first off, there's a right-handed. You take it in uh, and that means the blades, uh, uh, the sharpened edge is faced outward towards your right and then faced uh, um, outward. If you're left-handed, you need a left-handed knife. That means that uh, the blade is also faced outward, but it goes to your left. And then there's a special type uh, that's also a uh, grafting, but also a budding knife. And that has what's uh, this little nubbin on the edge, which is a bark lifter. It's used uh, in tea budding to pry away that bark after you make that tea to insert a bud. In sharpening, because they're sharpened only on one edge, uh, we used uh, stones. You can also, there's uh, handheld sharpeners out there, but I like to use the stones. And the stones come in a couple of different types too, as well. We have water stones or wet stones. Uh, we use to, uh, uh, water to lubricate and lift, uh, uh, lift the grain and uh, uh, lift uh, particles of metal off of the, uh, uh, the blade uh, of uh, the grafting knife. Then we have oil, uh, oil stones, and these are oil stones right, uh, right here that I'm going to use. If uh, our uh, grafting knife is very, very uh, dull, we'll start off with a, uh, uh, a hard grit, heavy grit, going to a, um, a hard grit on this side, going to a medium grit. Or if it's already fairly sharp, we'll go to a medium. Uh, fine and then a very fine at the end and finally use a strop to take off uh, that last uh, uh, little bit of uh, metal and uh, uh, polish up that uh, grafting knife. So starting out, I'm gonna, these are already fairly sharp so I'm gonna start with a fine and just keep, uh, uh, keep going and sharpen those up a bit more. Gonna oil up that stone, get it nice and uh, Oiled up. I'm going to take a grafting knife, and then when you uh, when we are using our uh, uh, sharpening, they're sharpened at a uh, 20 to 33 degree angle. And personally, I like to sharpen them to a, uh, a 20 degree angle. That way, I get a longer uh, a uh, longer blade. With these longer uh, blades right here, we got to uh, angle them slightly on that stone, and then spread that uh, oil around we are pushing it along the grain of that stone. Start out, angle it, try and get the entire blade on there and start at the end of that stone. Push forward and just using a fair amount of pressure, push along and try and uh, uh, push along the entire edge or flat uh, surface of that stone. And then if you, uh, you can turn that, uh, turn that stone around and go from the other end. Just trying to uh, uh, use the entire uh, surface of that stone, that way it doesn't wear down unevenly. We're done with that. Should have a slight amount of uh, um, uh, uh, metal shavings on the surface of that blade. Then wash, that, uh, uh, wash the excess oil off that blade. You can use a piece of uh, 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 towel. Okay. Then we're going to strop it, or well, before that, we're going to go on the other end because uh, there's uh, when we sharpen, there's a slight uh, curve of metal on the back end. We can just go along, holding that blade flat, and push that backwards along that stone to take that metal edge off. Okay, wash that off. Next, we're going to strop it. This, uh, that strop, the final strop, is going to polish that blade, make it uh, uh, nice and shiny. First, we're going to use uh, this uh, honing compound to that. It's like a, it's like crayon. That's going to help polish that uh, 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 that blade. And then, instead of pushing along that uh, pushing along that strop, we're going to pull. Because if we push, we're going to push into that uh, 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 that leather, and we're going to cut that leather, and it's not going to uh, strop as well. So we're going to pull instead of push. 
pull. So we are not cutting into that, uh, that leather. Then we can do it on the back side. Then that's fairly uh, that's fairly shiny. By the end, our blade should be sharp enough to cut a piece of paper in midair. Final thought: uh, If uh, you're going to graft uh, uh, at home, you're going to need a sharp knife. With uh, what I've presented uh, here, I hope that you have a good uh, uh, baseline for at least starting out. I'm Daniel Becker. Uh, thank you for watching.